All right. So I've got a little bit of time here this evening. Um, so I figured I was going to do a hard mode, no heals run of uh, Firewatch, which isn't a thing. Um, but uh, I figured it's funny to do this. Uh, a walking simulator hard mode with no heals would be uh, a hilarious thing if it actually existed. But it does not, alas. Um, but hopefully that <laughs> captures somebody's attention. Um, mostly I'm playing around with settings on OBS. Uh, I'm still kind of tweaking things around with the overlay, uh, with the bots. Um, so I figured I would uh, just see how it plays out. Um, I'm only going to be playing for a little bit. But we'll see just how this goes. Um, I'm going to just start a new game of Firewatch. I haven't played this in a few years. It's almost like playing blind. And maybe I'll make completely different choices. And maybe that will uh, totally change the storyline in ways I don't understand. Um, so it's kind of blind, but not really. I, I have played this before. I just don't remember it very well. I just remember liking it and thinking it was great. Like all good stories, this one begins in a bar. At least that's what I think. Um, sounds like a bar. I hear clinking, hushed conversations. Ooh, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. It's before my time. Oh, I see Julia. Hmm, that Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing, well-dressed, professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Oh yeah. You approach her. You are drunk. Oh, uh, hmm. Choices. Um, this could definitely impact uh, the outcome. Um, so um, I'm going to go with the classic, uh, you're ugly. You're pretty, she says coolly. No, you're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. Nice. What, you reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter. And one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Well, that was the fastest uh, relationship I've ever gotten into. Um, usually much more foreplay. An elevator. Uh, oh, I can use objects with right trigger. There's a backpack over there. Um, doesn't look like I can play with anything else. All right, all right. Put on the backy packy. Got it. Well, that's a weird way to start the elevator. Um, I didn't realize they were triggered by backpacks. Whatevs. Eight, seven, six, five. There's a truck. It's my probably my truck. Get in. Uh, uh. Er, before I uh, do that, you know, got to make sure there's no like potions over here. Um, there might be some mod upgrades I need later. Oh, I can't use potions. This is no heals runs. Uh, my bad. But uh, we'll have a look, see anyway, see what kind of uh, things we can uh, see over here. Hmm. What's uh, what's up here? Um, let's get out of this parking garage. Um, on foot. Oh, fenced in. That's that's no good. We can't do anything with that. That is just terrible. Um, already level design is shit. Um, this game is two out of uh, ten. Uh, all right. Load the truck bed. That's a bit excessive. I would have put it in the seat with me. Something about uh, putting in the back of the truck bed and going down freeways and stuff doesn't seem like a good way to keep your stuff. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Um, no? Oh well. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere 
Um, well, you know, you met in a bar. Um, your entire relationship is probably centered around alcohol. Uh, maybe not the best way to meet women. Um, but life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Oh, we're not having that. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring her, bring it with her to class. Why? Don't do that. It's not where you bring dogs. It's boring. They don't, you know, they don't read well anyways. They suck at physics. Uh, there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's bad ass. Well, you know what? I, if if my opinion of this dog is high, likely this is going to lead to tension in our relationship. <laughs> no, the, Amazon has not drone delivered the webcam. Um, oh, speaking of the webcam, uh, we have this system at work called Bravo points it's kind of like uh if you do something nice um or somebody does something nice for you you give them bravo points and there's a store where you can convert those points into things uh this webcam is actually on that store so i'm looking at buying it through that um because i have 34,000 of these bravo points saved up um so that would be probably a good use of it uh there's a couple of other things too a better headset for gaming and um a couple of games and I can even afford a PS4 with some games on top of that from that store so I'm probably gonna go that route but no unfortunately no alas no webcam just yet so between the shepherd which would be my character's choice um, and name him mayhem or the beagle um, who names uh, bucket uh, Normally, if you pick the thing that you're interested in, but it's her decision, she wants the dog, this is going to go poorly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the bad relationship decisions. Um, Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, pet, all rolled into one. Oh, isn't that sweet? I, personally, personally, I, and don't hate me for this, I'm a cat person and not fond of dogs. Um, I don't hate dogs, just prefer cats. Um, I prefer something whose loyalty I have to win instead of just getting through genetics, but that's just my complex psyche. <laughs> Unfollows. <laughs> 1979. Um, so this is three years later, I think. No, four. We started in 1975. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Well, I think they're delicious. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. Okay, so shared sentiments here between me and the character. Great. I'm saying... If you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Uh, yeah. Once again, I'm gonna go with bad relationship decisions. If she is asking about kids, she's not just probing; she's interested in having them. So, uh, yeah, um, that would be pretty good. Would go her way. We're gonna go mine. One day, why rush? She looks away out to the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, Mister. Don't worry. You assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. <laughs> My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay. <laughs> well, we wouldn't want to ruin that hot bod. So, right decision there. Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning with a pretty bad hangover because this entire relationship is centered around alcoholism. All right. So um, we apparently took our truck somewhere um, through teleportation. Um, there's some uh, things here, no fireworks. 
Uh, throw feral chairs, not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Do not forget to check in. Uh, learn to live with the bears. Uh, two forks. So here's the map. Good times. So, where can we go? There's trail this way, and uh, looks like this is the way out of the park. Nothing back here. Uh, can't get over that. There's no, there's no jumps in a walking simulator. Um, there's only zooms. There is a jog though, so that'll get us there a little faster. Look around at this beautiful scenery. Oh, it fades out. Never mind. 1980. So five years after we met Julia in a bar on a drunken night and I called her beautiful and everything went smoothly. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk. But she's clearly been having a fun time while I've been sitting here stewing and plotting. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Hmm. You know, I like to bottle up my emotions, so I just ignore her. That sounds like a, a good relationship thing to do. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. <laughs> I'm over it. I've made coffee. I'm moving on. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Well, I'm sure that's a Picasso. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Well, you know, I like to let my inner uh, Victoria's Secret model hang out. Julie was right. You are very pretty. I am a very pretty man. Oh, I love scotch. All right. Um... Apparently, we uh, teleported to a uh, minor cliff and walked down. That's some terrible uh, path there. Again, level design, uh, 2 out of 10. Um, let's go walk around here, see what's in this trail. Hmm, this time, no uh, sprinting. Two forks. Eight miles, eight more miles still. Hmm. Get a close up of that. Look at that. Look at that sign. Look at that craftsmanship. All right. Got a log here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, killer skills. Um, I made it. Um, almost died there. Again, this is a hard mode run. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. Uh, he's a couple years old now. Um, and uh, we've been in this relationship for seven years. And uh, consequently, this is the year that me personally, not the player, was born. Um, okay, what, what could possibly go wrong here? There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Well, it's a good thing that I am trained in the arts of giving them my wallet. Mayhem runs away. May me move, fuck dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Um. Well, violence is definitely the solution to everything, so I'm going to scare him away instead. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. Uh, he runs away. Um, Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. Uh, that's a pretty traumatic experience there. Um, 
never been mugged myself. Several friends who have. Uh, so I wouldn't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. But it looks like we lost our beloved dog. Hmm. Nineteen eighty four. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Well, that's part of my plan. Um I mean I made it pretty clear one day. Um eh, definitely not one day in nineteen eighty four. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, two thousand miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Um, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable where I'm at. Um, and uh, Connecticut kind of uh, isn't my isn't my my style. I mean, all the good bars that I like are here. All the good brews that I have come to love from the microbreweries are here. I don't want to go. Um, and um, that hot bod, I, I don't want to lose that hot bod. I did such good work keeping the kids out of that hot bod. So I'm going to convince her not to take the job because it's really solid relationship advice. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. Ah, win for me. This relationship is going well. 1985. Julie is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. Oh, okay. Keep it together there, Julia. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Well, hmm. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Okay, well, that's that's not good. That's that's not good at all. She was found crying in the stairwell. Okay, so I've already decided that I'm going to take like the worst uh, human being stance on probably everything possible. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, I, my tendency on playthroughs is to always, you know, do the right thing, uh, do do the good thing. Um, it's really hard for me to do like outcast renegade roles. I know that it might sound different from this stream, um, but uh, hopefully I'm going to get something different out of this. So, she was found crying in the stairwell. What should I do? You say that maybe you guys should talk to somebody about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine to try and forget about. It. You know, definitely burying your feelings, forgetting about it, ignoring them, and getting drunk, which is again the entire basis of a relationship. Is probably the right thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and make macaroni and drink wine to try and forget it. It works. We totally forget about it. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. Dallas? What? Okay, I guess this is the right time for Dallas to be on. It's kind of a weird reference for modern video games. Oh well. All right, so again, we have teleported. Um, that uh, couple of miles uh, really took a lot out of me, I guess. Um, I'm frozen in place, I can't move. I've been paralyzed, apparently, probably by this uh, tree behind me, I'm going to guess. Um, anyways, uh, we'll read this journal here, see what's going on. Oh, look at that, I am a sexy, sexy beast. Mayhem is getting older. Oh, so we didn't lose the dog. Okay. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. Uh, you and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends. Again, everything centered around alcohol. It's a true basis of our relationship. And it feels like nothing has changed, which is perfect. Julia gets goes back to the university. 1987. So this is 12 years after our first night at the bar. Julie's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. 
she is devastated. Okay, well, that's not good. Uh, she is sent home on permanent medical leave. Ooh, permanent medical leave. Not long term? That's that's rough. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child, children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Okay. This is uh, kind of rough. Uh, she pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Wow, that's uh, sounds like dementia. Um, my uh, maternal grandmother had Alzheimer's, and uh, some of this behavior kind of rings true. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. That's a uh, very real thing that happens with these kinds of things. People are, at the beginning, they are very supportive, there for you, offering gifts, offering help, help all the time, cleaning your place, doing whatever things they can. The reality is these kinds of things uh, are, go on for a long time and that people um, can only care so much for so long before uh, they are worn down by the experience and uh, you're kind of left to your own devices. Um, that's kind of a, a sad fact of this it's a common story though she gets worse 1988 so this is 13 years after that first drunken night with julia you spend your days following julia around the house well you have to i mean who knows how she's gonna hurt herself or do something weird or spaz out you count the seconds between two weekly visits from daniel the nurse he suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Uh, this is a tough decision to make. Um, when uh, when somebody's in this kind of situation, um, it may seem like the uh, wrong thing to actually put them into care, but uh, it's actually the right thing because Having to care for somebody like this yourself for 24 hours a day, seven days a week is, is taxing, but uh, these facilities generally have rotating staff that are not going to get completely burnt out on this. And it can be a long time. It can be years, a decade, even longer while they're in this state. Um, but, you know, putting them in the facility could be uh, kind of uh, expensive. So anyways, let's see what our options here. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility or you determine to take care of her by yourself. So, you know, might seem like the compassionate answer to take care of her by yourself, but it's actually the worst decision. So we're going to do that. Um, so we have teleported again, although this time I can actually somewhat go back to the... Uh, Half. It looks like I uh, came down from some rocks. So we're coming up over here, over this path. Uh, it's kind of guided. You can't really go off script here. Um, there's no jump button or anything like that. So go along, but just kind of looking around at the scenery over here. See some fog. Ooh. Uh, dear. Oh, and we're uh, blacking out again. Um, we're probably, uh, uh, what did it say, eight miles? And uh, we're like two days in um, to this park. Uh, that's kind of crazy. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like she tries to cook her own food. So, yeah, trying to take care of herself is a really bad idea. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. That codependency, man. That's that's where it's at. When she goes to sleep, you stay up in a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. 
Well, you know, it's kind of the cornerstone of everything going on in the story so far. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Okay, so I have two options here. I can lock her in the room by putting a chair in front of the bedroom door. Or uh, trust her that she's going to sleep like a rock. Um, one seems inhumane by putting a, 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 a chair in front of her door. But, you know, ignorance is bliss. Uh, sure, she's going to sleep fine. She is not, definitely not, going to get up in the middle of the night and grab knives and start stabbing things. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home, in bed by 1 a.m., a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Ah, oh, that Sheila. Now I can already feel it growing in my heart. I'm, I'm, I'm loving on some Sheila. 1989. One night, you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. Fuck. Nah, too bad there's no Uber in 1989. You blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. It's a uh, .10? It's the... Uh, I think that's legal in most places. Anyways, uh, you consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Well, telling your sister-in-law about your um, stuff is probably a bad idea. Um... Anyways, Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Um, well, yeah, I'm, you know, caring for this person. Uh, 24, <laughs> seven days a week. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard to keep the keep the place clean. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming. You see an ad for paper. Uh, I see an ad in the paper for a job. All right. Well, you know, my wife is uh, suffering from dementia and has been spirited off to Australia. Uh, I have a DUI on my record. Um, I am a drunken mess. My house is totally in shambles and i am a very crap human being so uh yeah i'm, I'm just gonna take this job all right so we've teleported yet again um Let's see if we can go back and find out where we came from. Ooh, a little bit more freedom. Can run around now. <laughs> no, so like, uh, I'm pretty sure when I played this the last time, I chose like the um, the options that were what a decent human being <laughs> would choose. Um, and I think that it affects later game um, story elements. But I don't remember all too well anyways. This is like partially blind. I played this years ago. I only played it once. I didn't go back and try different choices. So uh, we're going to see. Um, I think I'm already lost. I already don't know where I'm at. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, look. Lookout tower. That's nice. What's up here? What? What was triggering that? Okay. It was showing me like a sign of some kind. Now it's gone. Whatever. Look at that moon. Isn't that moon beautiful? Alright. Gonna go up some stairs here. Let's see what we can figure out up here. So I thought there was a light on. 
from downstairs. Did I miss see that? No, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Um, turn on the power. There's a generator switch there. Before I do it, the game tells me to do. Nah, play with everything. Singular mind. Um, doesn't look like you can open it. Just examine it. All right. Uh, throw that back. Um, glory. Okay. Put that back. Um, water jug. Doesn't look like I can interact with it. National Forest Guidebook Cookbook. Um, knew there was something activating. What was that? Oh, pine cone pickup. All right, put it back. Desk lamp. It's not going to turn on without power, probably. All right, all right. We'll do what you say. Turn on the generator switch. Oh, look, light turns on by itself. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Uh, did I somehow accidentally get to where I was supposed to go without trying to? Well, that's that's lame. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Turn on this light, because electricity is not a precious commodity. I know you're there. Your lights are on. All right, hold LT to activate radio. Okay, well later. Uh, I've got to. Uh, Got potions to find, mods and upgrades to, to loot. Uh, so we'll figure that out. Let's go back outside. And uh, go down here. Oh, look, some flammable stuff. I wonder if I can play with that. Let's go around this backside here and grab these containers or something, see if they're interactable. Oh, nope. Lame. I guess that's what uh, fuels my stove inside. Can't jog up here, can't jump off the top. Alright. back down here. I don't know how he managed. Yay! High Modern Sonnet. Yep. I am streaming. Some good rocks emotes there. Um, playing some Firewatch. Mostly just uh, screwing around with settings, screwing around with the overlay, um, making sure timers and bots work, and then doing something uh, maybe a little bit productive while doing it. Um, there's a wood sign here. Let's see what this is. Major. Let's uh, examine this. All right. Well, let's just uh, drop this there. Uh, that seems like a good place. Use the outhouse here. Oh, awesome. All your bit badges. That's cool. Too bad I don't get to play with those myself. They won't show up. What what did you, what'd you go with for the bit badges? Throw fair fire lookout six point two miles to the north. Only time will tell. Awesome. So tonight then. That's what you're saying. Um, uh, I guess I haven't... Damn, I need to get that one fixed. Anyways, anybody who's watching the stream... Um, Rock should be uh, streaming tonight. Uh, it's a retro night. What are you streaming tonight, Rocks? Are you doing um, 
Wind Waker again, or or what? Trail closed. Yep, Wind Waker. Awesome. So, anyways, um, I could probably explore around forever, and I'm probably going to run into more like trail closed things. I, if, if I remember correctly from the last time I played this, it kind of forces you to progress. So, I'm just going to go ahead and continue. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Henry and Delilah. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with no, you? It doesn't, Roxanne. <laughs> I, uh, I, I just thought the idea of a... Right uh, walking simulator, having hard me. mode and like, heals, um, <laughs> sleep hilarious forever? to say that I was sure, doing. Okay, now go ahead. All right, so now I get to choose a reply. You killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Uh, nobody back home can stand you. Well, I'm gonna say that I killed three ex-husbands. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the picture of him in that uh, journal, but yeah, he's a pretty stout dude. Not quite. Um, now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. Well, that's that's... The sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. And that's the intro to Firewatch. Hooray! So yeah, now now we're out here and uh, we took a job um, watching for fires. And look at that. I'm writing the next great American novel. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me at my desk? What? You watching me? You creepy lady. Anyways, uh, answer a radio call. Oh, there it is. Alright, left to activate. Sorry, hey, I guess I slept sorry, in. Sorry, I guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Mmm. Yeah, Jesus, mm. I guess it's what, 6? 6 6.45. Whoops. It took us like two it. days to get here. Everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Hmm, look at that thing with a round map. Awesome. What else do I got? Uh, I can interact with more stuff now. So that's awesome. Cool. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it's it, Rox. Right Thanks, Delilah. I heard you the first time. Ooh. Uh, old S Scottish oil soup. You can't miss it. Let's uh, let's have a look. See at this. All right, yeah, that's that's cool. Put that back. Glass cleaner. I'll wait. Can I uh, clean some glass? No, no. that back. Yep. You keep waiting, Delilah. I got things to look at. Very day. important stuff to do. Death strikes at two. Put that up. Oh. Can I not, uh, there we go. Uh, the Patriots. Um, uh, Donald Anderson, very famous author. Um, the Birds of Wyoming. Awesome. Nope, nope. I want... There. Alright, my books are straightened. That's very important. Uh, Thermos. Um... What we got here uh, manly nice throw that on the floor that's where that goes all right um, calendar what else can I interact with light switch turn lights on the day screw you environment um, desk drawer Ooh, look at that some d20 man 
What did I roll? Oh, I can't read it. It's uh. Oh, it's only gonna drop it on the floor. Can I drop it on the desk? Come on. Oh, now I can't get to it. Ah. All right, what do we got here? Two orcs map. Ooh. Look at that. It's a pretty decent map. All right, can I uh, can turn this lamp on? Good. More more energy wasted. It's great stuff. That's what we need to do. Coffee percolator. All right. All right, progressing the story now. Okay, yeah, I see it. So now you're ready to work. I'm new. Wanted to look around. <laughs> Honestly, on my first day, I did the same thing. Oh, did so you? Anyway, Delilah. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- <laughs> Fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West-facing window. Are those fucking fireworks? I don't- Which way's west? Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh! Press down to use compass. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? There we go. Yeah, so that's west. And yes, I see them. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. no. You need to get down Fireworks right are not legal, sir. The roof. Is that really my job? Your yeah. Job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. I kick the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? I'm really not really into discipline. I'm not really a disciplinarian type of guy. Well, make them knock it off without smoking a joint with them, okay? Sure. All right. What? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between oh. you and the lake. How square? Right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually bad should, for all of them. Should totally, totally let me uh, smoke weed with them. Uh. Smart. Smart. Shut That's up. good. Alright. Uh, code book. Can't do anything with that. Alright. I guess we have to go outside. I'm gonna leave the lights on for good measure. Broken clock. That's awesome. All right, it's a pretty rickety tower. It's awesome. All right, so I can read the map now. Um, zoom in. The old point. Two forks look out. Awesome. You are here. All right. We're going west. We're just going to run this way and uh, find these fine folks that are um, setting off fireworks and uh, risking the land to the evils of fire. There's a supply box here. I think that's the one that she... Um... Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. Oh, that's that's uh, a lot. One, two, three, four. That's a super hard um, code. Um, it's much easier in the easier modes, um, but again, this is hard mode. So there we go. Uh, we've got another map, so we'll update this here with this stuff. Um, Take note. Read it. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up. I locked up his lookout. 
and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you like, hiking in the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Alright, thanks Dave. I uh, appreciate that. That's that's awesome. Um, let's see, found a note between a couple of guys. Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. Okay. You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? Huh? Well, maybe. I wasn't planning on it. I guess uh, people just uh, do that. I'm gonna put that into my uh, pockets there. Um, I'm gonna talk about every little thing here. Hey, a snack. Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want oh, to. Oh, why not? No, Whatever eating it sounds like a great years. idea. That's mm. how you get food poisoning. No, man. Live a little. Eat the snack. Eat the snack. Mmm. Yes. Perfect. Pine cone. Throw that over there. Return it to the wild. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. Got some rope. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Take this rope here. All right. Now I've got rope. I think that's all the supplies in there. Close this for good measure. Take a uh, gander at the uh, thing here. Continue uh, going down here to find the guys that are trying to set my life on fire. Let's see. I hope I'm heading in the white right direction. I, I don't see the fireworks anymore. I hear them. It was west, so I'm just going to keep trying to head west. I could totally bypass them. Let's see. Sounds like I'm getting closer. Maybe. It's a uh, definitely heard but not seen. That's not helpful. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. All right. But uh, there's a rope hook here. Shell slide. It's steep. All right. So attach some rope here. Throw that down there. And now I can repel down. Oh yeah. Elite skills. Nope. Oh, this is way harder and harder. No! Oh, oh, that hurts. I can feel that in my own bones. Not great. Alright, well, that, uh thing there, so let's report this uh, climbing accident to Delilah. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. Probably. I think I'll make it. Broke Be my pride. For my sake. That's for sure. It's getting dark out here. That's no bueno. Okay. Caught up between a tree and a rock. Keep going, keep going. Where are they at? I'm going west. Um. Okay, I need to um, go north a little bit and I will hit a trail again and that'll get me back on track. I have a uh, wisdom tree. I have played this before and beaten it, um, but I only played through once. It was years ago. I barely remember it. So this is half blind. Um, like. Uh, and I'm trying to make different decisions. I don't remember exactly what I did last time around, but if uh, 
if I played like I normally do games, I probably chose all the, the nice guy answers for things. And this time around, I'm trying to be a complete and total idiot and a-hole. Well, I think I reached their campfire. Um, got some whiskey here. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Definitely taking that. Um, can never have too much whiskey. Uh, beer can. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? It is a really good yeah. game. I remember really enjoying this um, when I played it. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of walking simulators, um, and this one was pretty good. Um, I felt the story was, was great. Um, I just don't remember it very well. Got a beer can here. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muscoil light on a hot day? Oh, oh no, yeah. But then again, Look I at them scotches, rocks. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. I don't have anything in the store yet, I don't think. But, again, I'm mostly just figuring out uh, some of this stuff so I have some data points to work with so that when I uh, start streaming seriously, I've got something to work with. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold this beer can. Why not? Bundle of fireworks. We're going to report fireworks. on that. They didn't even try to hide them. <laughs> Rocks in my scotches. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, thanks for the host, Rocks. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Baby duty. It's... Totally understandable. I'm gonna pick up some fireworks here, and uh, we're gonna confiscate those. Um, doing my official duty. Um, we'll report the campfire now. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Uh, it kind of resonates. I, I moved out here to the Bay Area last year. Um, almost just over a year ago and uh, then in August there was there, there was the campfire and man the entire Bay Area filled up with smoke um, it was a hellacious couple of weeks um, and then just all the damage that was done like that's uh, just terrible human being behavior um, how much beer cans can I hold I don't even know. I'm um, just going to pick up their trash. That's probably not the right thing to do on a dick playthrough and should probably have left it there or even done worse. Oh, look! Um, some clothing. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? That would be exciting. They're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Awesome. Um... I'm definitely going to get my authoritarian figure on. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh. That's song. Oh, a pair of panties? Yeah. Uh, there are uh, panties. Los pantalones. What? I don't well, want to say that word again. Pentimedias. There we go. Okay. Yeah, prude. Like, they're panties, man. There's a... Ooh. Yes? Uh, two naked women. Um, forget it. Uh, yeah. There are two naked ladies out here. Yeah. Can you handle that? I Come possibly I like can. Naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. I could uh, do something with this boombox, but this this uh, music is jamming. I'm staring. Hey, guys, are you sneezing? Get out of here. Oh, no, no. Oh, I can't. No. Can I? Yeah, playing with sparklers in the nude. 
That's kind of a dangerous thing. I, I would highly recommend not doing fire things while naked. Um, Alright, I guess I have to interact with this. Full stereo. Whoa, hey, put that down. Nope, 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 nope. Put it down? Put it down? Sure. That's great. That's that's great. I, I definitely didn't do that last time. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Hey, did I go okay? <laughs> yeah, that went great. Um it went, went fine. Yep. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. That's how I feel Good. about that. That Thanks was for going down That there. was great. That went well. That's exactly how it should have gone. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way because that doesn't look familiar. Consult the map here. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Um, some weird controls, in my opinion, on that. Okay, so head south. And then I should get back on the right trail to get back. Need some orienteering, man. Oh. Okay. It's kind of up here, but I can't do anything. Maybe if I lower that, sir. No? Alright, well. Thanks for nothing? Why do you even let me walk up here? So disappointing. Alright. We'll just try going around here. Okay, yes. Going back the way we came. Um, can I do something skeevy with these? I can. Nope. I guess not. I can only just pick them up and put them down. Okay. Just trying to be an absolute terrible human being in this. Um, I can't examine these ones either. It's grayed out. Sad. And, uh... Well, their underwear is still strewn all over down here. Well, that's good. It is a particularly warm evening. I'm not sure I blame them. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, they're trying to be one with nature, and you're just being a prude. So they just left their stuff down here, but it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake, right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great. Okay? Nope, right. nope. I must. Uh, whoops. I must, uh. I must continue my life as a criminal. It is imperative that I destroy more things illegally. Um, so my alcoholic fueled rage for my demented wife that is now in Australia with her folks. Um, hmm. I have a great idea. It's uh Let's give back to nature for all the great that it's done to us. I feel it is my duty to uh, give back to this uh, beautiful, beautiful landscape. Bye. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. <laughs> oh, that's uh, back the wrong way. I think that I would remember where I'm going on this. I don't know why. So disoriented. I want to put more cans in the lake because that's a uh, awesome, uh, good human being thing to do.
I mean, yeah. These cans are biodegradable, right? Like, right? Like, they're good for the environment. Pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, we're doing the right thing. So, what is this, like, I thing? Can I do anything? Like, is it just, like, a point of interest? It doesn't seem to be, like, any way to interact with it. Any chance of those kids getting a oh. disease in this lake? Like, diphtheria or consumption or... Consumption. Consumption? <laughs> not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> that is too bad. Um, but I'm going to do my part to ensure that future swimmers in this lake have a high chance of tetanus. Um, by uh, throwing even more beer cans into the, uh, the lake. That's a... Uh... My hope is that this um, does something later on and I'm uh, forced to uh, pay for my indiscretions. That would be great. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim. Even if the last people to do so were assholes. Oh, oh, there are the assholes. Snow melts, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Maybe. Feel like it. Maybe, maybe it is a fair trade. But anyways, we're gonna toss that in the lake. Um, there's got to be a few more back here. It's totally doable. Can I not? Can I not take their clothes and? Do anything? Nope, I guess not. Be great. Just uh, take their clothes, throw it in the lake, um, along with all their stuff and their trash. So just taking it back to nature. This beer can is being returned to its natural habitats, where it will thrive. And though it may need to reacclimate, it will once again become the beer can it was always meant to be. As nature intended. To the lake with you. Alright. Okay, well, that, that's enough of that. that that entirely takes way too long. Um, so there's something about looking at stuff. Nope. Um... If I, uh, nothing to talk about. So let's, uh, since I have to head back, why don't I uh, take some of these beer cans and maybe uh, place them in some even more um, natural places? Oh, that's a good hey, question. I'm back near that big rock how do I get back? But not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Oh. <sighs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. They, uh, they, uh, had wives that went demented, and they actually cared for them like proper human beings. That's where they're at. That's my theory. Um, they, uh, they were nice people. We are not nice people. Alright. So it said to come here and go north. I'm pretty sure that that's what it's saying. Like, yeah. Go back here. Um. Let's throw this in the canyon here. That's great. Yeah, look at them scotches. 35 scotches. 
Yeah. Yeah, I decided to go crazy with the points. I like, I like to think of points for things as like ridiculously like like yen, right? Like in American dollars, right? You have dollars and cents, and yen's just like, oh, look at this like twelve hundred yen thing, All right? So I'm gonna go with that approach. Is it a slow progression? Um, I don't even know. I like. I bumped it up from the uh, from the defaults, thinking that it would be good. Plus ten per ten minutes. Yeah, that's good to know. I'll uh, I'll have to go back and check that because you know I don't think that the points actually accumulate for myself. So let me s see. Okay, yeah, they don't accumulate for me, so. Yeah. Which means that, like, it's really hard for me to gauge the, um, <laughs> the uh, progression of the points beforehand, so thanks for doing that. I need to brace that up. I'll probably just put it to the max. I don't even know what the chat stats does. Oh, just links. That's lame. Am I going the right way? I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I got the job out of people. I was looking for dinner. Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on. You're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Yeah, what's going on with that? <laughs> Skew them stats. Yeah, you can spam all the emotes you want to, I think. Um, I don't think that I have spamming stuff turned on on purpose. Okay, where am I even? Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like I... Yeah. Ten days? Man, has it been that long already? That's when I did that random near stream, I think. Oh yeah, dad time. No problem. Alright, so let's read this note. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully uh, they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about uh, what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. I wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. Okay. So we're going to take that note. Um, we've got a book here, um, that, uh, I hear a babbling brook. This, uh, book needs to be returned to the sea. We must, uh, free it so it can be back with its people. There we go. Go be with your, be with your people book. You beautiful sea creature, you. Alright, so we've got a sweater here. Um, uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. That is kind of hilarious, though. I want to... 
fake university sweatshirt sounds actually pretty awesome, in my opinion. Um, I went to What's the Matter You? Um, it's a really bad joke that one of my friend's dad used to say all the time we were growing up. Um, can I not attach? There's a rope hook there that I cannot do anything with. Awesome. I guess I need more rope. Uh, so where am I going? Let's uh, have a look-see at the map -see. Uh, It looks to me like I'm supposed to be going down this way. But it's not letting me interact with the uh, it's not letting me interact with it okay so what do I do then I think I'm forced in here okay this takes me back to the uh Part, uh, the thing. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. This looks promising. All right. Um, let's look, see at the map now. Yeah, it looks like we're, looks like we're getting there. At that action uh, hard mode skills totally killing it here um, I just got to be very careful conscious of my health um, see so there are no pots there are no health potions uh, and even if there were I can't use them because this is a hard mode no heals run so um, I could have just uh, run through that great a, that was a lot of work for nothing. Um, keep going this way here. Sweet leap moves. Uh, yes. Nailed it. 10 out of 10. So Great I gameplay. Alright, Delilah. What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. well, whatever. Well, um, you know, I'll try to make it up to you. Yeah, sure. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. There was something here, it was like... Oh, I can see my tower from far away. Yeah, we it's kind of the point. Hidden underground towers for a while, but <laughs> we're really like happy with the results. Hidden underground. Um. So I'm with you all summer, huh? Yeah. With whatever this sense of humor is. That sounds like can greatness. You even believe you're gonna love it. I uh, I am gonna love it, but I'm gonna treat you like crap. Um, because that's that's the way I do things. So, again, I'm going to try to make all the, like, terrible human being decisions possible in this game. Um, because that's a, uh, different mode of play than I'm used to. Oh, sweet jump. Nailed it. Alright. Uh-oh. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the no, lightning? No, no. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Oh, well. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? 
Suicide. Sense Believe. of humor. That's what killed him. Her sense of humor. Again, uh, hard mode, uh, super hard combinations. Uh, um, much easier in easy, easy mode. Um, let's copy down these map instructions. Map is updated. Uh, danger, bravery, the great outdoors, defend our frontier. Um, let's get this horn on the horn. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Yeah. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. What is the technical distinction between antlers and horns? I wonder. Um, but yeah, let's uh, return this uh, antler to its natural habitat right there that's that's good that's a good place for it um let's report the flashlight. flashlight there's one in there great Hope that the doesn't work go down soon so if the batteries still work Ow. you're in luck right in the eye and i now have flashlight mode pro skills ooh a cave what's in this cave down here in thunder canyon Thunder Canyon? Thunder hey, Canyon. I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back time. in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. No, don't be careful. You're in a cave. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! <laughs> Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> that was worth it. All right, I want to play with... Hi! Oh. When you uh, howl into the abyss... Sometimes the abyss howls back. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Oh. Although Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for That's... good. That's ah, damn. That's great. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. I can go this way. Clearing some bush. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna go through this cave. That sounds like a, a, a great idea. I think we're almost home. It's, uh... Check out something here real quick. All right, I thought so. I haven't been paying attention to the time. I uh, I need to go ahead and call it a day here. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out to the stream. Again, I'm just mostly messing around with uh, settings and stuff right now. I'm planning to, in um, a couple of weeks or so, probably when I get back from India, to uh, start streaming some near automata um, lore and weapons run. Um, so basically what I've been doing is, is getting all kinds of stuff set up for a more serious stream. So you might see me just playing some games every now and then uh, for an hour or two while I test out uh, the bots and uh, what they... Uh, um, have going for There's them. Some guy out here. Some guy. Yeah. Wait, he's some guy. At you? Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's, there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. Yeah. What is it? What, what about this area? It's outside. 
Come on. Yes. The whole thing. And people <laughs> come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> Look, that's sass. In the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Is it? So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, have to uh, end it for here. But uh, yeah, I thank everyone for coming out, um, spending this hour and a couple of minutes with me. And uh, if you see me streaming again in the near future, I'm probably just uh, testing something out. Um, but um, I'll set up actual events when I plan to stream more seriously. And uh, thanks for coming out, and I hope to see you back.